Show you tonight at 10. The University of Dayton has released a new plan to try to eliminate any racism on its campus. The 11 point plan calls for more diversity among the faculty and the student body. Two News reporter Kristen Eskow is live at the University of Dayton with a breakdown of the new plan. Mark and Brooke, according to University of Dayton data from their website, as of the fall 2019 semester, roughly 75% of the entire student body, as well as full time ranked faculty, is Caucasian. And that's one of the things the university wants to change in its plan to combat racism. It's inclusive in some ways, but then not inclusive in others. Ian Evans just earned his bachelor's degree from the University of Dayton and is returning this fall to pursue his master's. Evans tells me he has experienced racism on campus. Some girls will come up to me as they do to most basketball players and they'll ask me if I'm on the basketball team. And granted, you know, uh, it's like I can see where they're coming from, but also I'm not a student athlete. I'm just a student. Now UD has come up with an 11 point plan to combat racism. Among the goals listed, educate students, faculty and staff members on systemic racism, bias and privilege, increase diversity among the student body as well as faculty, staff and administration, and continue to develop a safe campus climate that protects people from discrimination, harassment and bias. We do experience like many institutions that are predominantly white in higher education, there's underrepresentation. Lawrence Burnley, UD's Vice President for Diversity and Inclusion, says he worked with faculty, staff, and students to create the plan. There's been a core of people here across the university who's been doing this work. And so we, like many other institutions across the country, uh, we, we've been on this journey and we've come a long way, but we have a long way to go. It shows that, you know, the university has my people's back and that they are willing to actually put in the effort to actually talk about the racial inequalities that happen, whether it be on campus or in the world. And the student I spoke with said he also appreciated the university's pledge to support minority owned and women owned businesses in the area. Now to read the full 11 point plan, click on this story on our website, WDTN.com. We're live tonight in Dayton. Kristen Escow, two news working for you.